The Power of the Dog saw Jane Campion return via the Netflix streaming platform, with her most accomplished work since The Piano. The cast of Benedict Cumberbatch, Jesse Plemons, Cody Smith McPhee, and Kirsten Dunst absolutely shine in this post colonial tale set in a mythic frontier landscape, pulsating with both freedom and menace. The Power of the Dog set against the desolate plains of 1920s Montana and adapted by the filmmaker from Thomas Savage's novel. After a sensitive widow, Kirsten Dunst, and her enigmatic, fiercely loving son, Cody Smith McPhee, move in with her gentle new husband, Jesse Plemons, a tense battle of wills plays out between them and his brutish brother, Benedict Cumberbatch, whose frightening volatility conceals a secret torment underneath, and whose capacity for tenderness once reawakened may offer him redemption, or indeed spell his destruction. There's so much that is muted and left to the viewer's imagination in this story of oppression and ultimately the destruction of the central character played by Benedict Cumberbatch. And the Oscars were absolutely abuzz with the superb performances given by Cumberbatch and McPhee, not to mention Plemons as a quieter understated of the two brothers. Now the film ended up of course with the Best Director Award for Jane Campion and various technical awards as opposed to performance awards. Now the book itself is also impressive, but Jane Campion and her sensibilities as a director has brought it to life on film. In early 2017, writer-director Jane Campion, having just finished filming the second season of Top of the Lake, received a copy of Thomas Savage's 1967 novel The Power of the Dog from her stepmother Judith. Campion was enthralled by the book and began hunting for the film rights. She and producer Tanya Sechkachian eventually obtained the rights from the Canadian producer Roger Frappier after meeting with him at the 2017 Cannes Film Festival. According to Campion, the novel had been optioned at least five times before that but never made. Paul Newman, for instance, was amongst those who had tried to adapt the book. While she was working on the script, Campion maintained correspondence with the author Annie Proulx, who wrote the afterword to 2001 edition of Savage's novel. After completing her first draft, Campion visited Savage's ranch in Montana, met with members of his family, because the author himself had died in 2003, and consulted with an expert on Savage from the University of Montana Western in Dillon. Campion was unable to film in Montana, though due to budget concerns, and indeed she opted to shoot in her native New Zealand instead. Filming began in New Zealand in January 2020 in the Maniototo of central Otago, and also took place in the coastal Otago city of Dundin and the town of Omaru. Now, production on the film was halted in March 2020 due to the COVID pandemic, and after border exemptions were finally granted for cast and crew, production resumed in June of that year. All of the film's interior scenes were shot on sound stages in Auckland during the final weeks of filming. Principal photography concluded in July of 2020. Throughout the production, Cumberbatch stayed completely in character, and he and Dunst agreed not to speak on set. Jane Campion's other coup was, as a director certainly, to choose Johnny Greenwood to compose the haunting score. Now he had previously penned the music for Paul Thomas Anderson's film The Phantom Thread, starring Daniel Day-Lewis, and his soundtrack was nominated for an Oscar this year. Netflix picked up the production and it streamed on the service for all to see from the 1st of December 2021. It also had a limited cinema release in November of that year. Now, for many, the film is chalk and cheese. I personally liked it, and I certainly believe it has Benedict Cumberbatch's best ever cinema performance in his career. Now, the features on the 4K Power of the Dog release are a 4K digital master approved by the director Jane Campion with Dolby Atmos soundtrack. One 4K UHD disc of the film in Dolby Vision HDR and the Blu-ray with the film and special features. Interview with Campion about the making of the film. A programme featuring interviews with members of the cast and crew and behind the scenes footage captured on location in New Zealand. Interview with Campion and the composer Johnny Greenwood about the film's score. 
Conversation among campaign director of photography Ari Wegner, actor Kirsten Dunst and producer Tanya Sagatchian, moderated by the filmmaker Tamara Jenkins. A new interview with novelist Annie Pruhl, trailer and an essay by the film critic Amy Tobin. And the new cover art for the disc is by Greg Ruth. The Power of the Dog is a shining example of Jane Campion's unique cinematic style. She won an Academy Award for her direction here, charting the repressed desire and psychic violence coursing among these characters with the mesmerising control of a master at the height of her powers. The film's a running time of 128 minutes and releases a spine 1158 only in the UK.